David Unsworth, who'd been the previous permanent manager. Of course, Steve Thompson and Neil Redfern have been in temporary charge. They went unbeaten in their six games. Won three and drew three. Here's Stead. Cabamba and Carlo in the box. Stead going on. It's a great run. Good effort, too. Just didn't quite have a bend on it, but really good play that by Stead. Just need to take on. Yeah. It's some challenge if you're 23, let yeah, alone 73. Exactly, yeah. mistake here and Fondock's in and Walker's brought him down and he's in trouble here it's a penalty it's a red card as well well that was always coming masters oh. of their own downfall and he's actually changed his decision he did show a red card initially but he's now pulled out a yellow I don't know if you actually saw that on your screen but I can tell you it was definitely a red card to begin with and he's changed his mind here the referee well, it's just a complete and utter mix-up, isn't it? Between Jerome Akimo and Walker. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Sometimes, as a goalkeeper, as a defender, and you're the last man, just clear your lines. It doesn't matter where the ball goes. He has actually kicked it against his own centre-half there and then has to bring him down. It's just a mess. If you're Barnet, that is just an utter mess. What a chance here for Oldham to take the lead. Their top scorer, James Norwood. Up against the man who's just given away the penalty. It's Norwood for Oldham. Emphatically taken that. The goalkeeper nowhere near it. It's number nine in the National League this season for James Norwood. Mr. Reliable for Oldham. And they're in front here, the Latics. Well, at this moment in time, this will be exactly what Mickey Mellon set out to do at the start of the game. Well, Laurie Walker's nowhere near the ball. Add, that's for sure. Oh, Fondock's in behind them again here. And this time Walker can save it. But they've really, really looked dangerous so far. Might they hear? Didn't quite run for Collins. Kabamba was trying to keep it in and he did. Still plenty in the box to aim at. It's a good ball. And Kabamba's there, but the flag's up. It's not going to count. looking to flick it on wide it comes here for Cardi. maybe the opportunity for one last chance at the end of the half Cardi did well his cross to the back post and they're queuing up in there Hooper was one of them six nearly seven minutes of the second half and the game has taken a very similar pattern to the first Gorman to take the free kick it's really good goalkeeping that from Matt Hudson Instead, not having as much as the ballers, he's opposite wide man, but they need to do that. They need to do it and move the ball quicker. That's a good ball towards Norwood and the claim by Walker. Almost 10 gone in this second half, as we were at half time. Oh, Cardi's done brilliantly there. Saw off two of them in one go. Now, is that a penalty given? Brought down by Freeman. Fantastic play that by Carnu. They just couldn't handle him there. And the Bees have a penalty and a chance to level it. Well, as we said, we're 10 minutes in and he's had more of the ball in this first 10 minutes of the second half than he did nearly all the first 45. Real focus there in the eyes of Pritchard. Here's his penalty. Thumped it home. All square at the hive. There was no saving that. Fantastic penalty, wasn't it? Very much the same as James Norwood, except it with his, with his left foot and in the opposite corner. But you don't save those. You could put two keepers in there and you wouldn't save it. That is smashed into the roof of the net. Sometimes when you're defending that deep, you've got to be brave and try and find a pass out as opposed to just clearing it and smashing it anywhere. Otherwise, it just comes straight back at you and you're still hot deep in your own half. That's a clever ball to Norwood. He's got Green up with him. Fondop's there as well. He's looked for Fondop. He's found Fondop! And Fondop has found the back of the net. And Oldham here have regained the lead. The angle was working against Fondop, but it didn't matter, did it? Set up by Norwood, who turns from goal scorer to provider. Well, we just looked at Mickey Mellon there on the bench.
Rich, expressionless, almost as if to say, oh, I knew we'd score again. I mean, you couldn't see it the way the game was going, especially after the Barnett equaliser and the way that Barnett had started the second half. He's certainly on side there. Really good, incisive play. It's quick from Oldham this time. Barnett outnumbered. That's not the best defending I've ever seen, but what a finish from an incredibly difficult angle from Fondra. Senior. Norwood. It's one for Fondop to chase. Against Akimo here. Here's the last touch off. Goal kick is given. He feels that should be a corner. Looked a certain corner, but I'm not sure he was going with the running style. <laughs> Oh, what a ball that is. And Norwood's in behind them here. Now, can he finish? Oh, it's just wise. Barnett throwing. Taken quickly by Carney. Time very much of the essence here for the Bees. Quarter of an hour to go. Collins. Senior. Norwood's chasing this, and Norwood's clean through. Now, can he finish it? Such composure from Norwood. That is superb. He's had a hand in all three goals, has scored two himself, set up one for Fondop. But that is football league quality from James Norwood. The high line from Barnett. Oldham were wise to it used it to their advantage and that is just so composed and confident from Norwood well it's outstanding isn't it brilliant again leaving 1v1 at the back and all he does is use his strength the ball over the top is going to be in his favor and all he does is lean into the defender defenders off balance there you go it's not a foul he's just using his body and once he's in there 1v1 you know what the outcome's going to be. He's not going to panic. He's done it at a higher level. It's brilliant for Norwood. It really, really is. Kanu, Brunt. Hogan it was who got it clear. Great head of that by Fondop. Norwood and Hope's forward with him. He's picked him out too. It's Hope! It's a fourth! What a superb away performance this is from Oldham Athletic. It's just about perfect from the Latics. Hope off the bench to score the fourth. Norwood involved again. It's a masterclass from Mellon's Oldham this. Just brilliant. Just an absolutely brilliant performance away from home from Oldham Athletic. And again, the ball goes in. Fondop knows where his strike partner is. You just know that this man is going to pick the right pass. And there it is. On to the run of Hope, who again has, has run 50, 60 yards to join in, even though they're winning 3-1 at the time. Look at this from Norwood. How do you like it? And that, hitting a ball that's rolling across your body into the far corner is a difficult skill.